Hey guys, welcome back to Vio Essentials. Oh my god. Well, it's all dropped. The Medical S3 is now going to be launched. Most of you, I would imagine, have actually watched MetaConnect or perhaps you've watched the highlights. What did you guys think? Leave a comment below. I'd like to know your thoughts. I have to say that, of course, due to the shareholders' meetings and all these kind of things, it was quite strange at the beginning. If you're watching live, basically, they spoke about Quest a lot. But then this change, there was a whole heap in between of AI and WhatsApp and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, because, of course, the shareholders have to be happy and the share price of the company has to keep steady and go up and not make them think that everything's about the metaverse. As unfortunately, the metaverse, when they keep mentioning, well, when Zuckerberg keeps mentioning the word, the price drops and they stop believing in it. So that's basically why. But I have to say that a lot of the tech is pretty amazing especially the Ray-Ban glasses now where you'll be able to take calls directly on the glasses without having to use your phone. Although I think it's the messenger calls. I don't think it's a normal phone call. Um, and of course, being able to live stream directly from either your phone or tap an icon and boom, POV, personal point of view, um, you know, in terms of the recording. I think that's pretty cool. But more importantly, the MetaQuest 3 seems to be okay. There seems to be good reviews so far by people who've had it for a little while, of course, uh, who secretly had it, of course, and then were able to let people know that, you know, they, they have the headset. Now, personally speaking, if we just go to, uh, and we're going to be diving a lot more into this today, if I just show you very, very quickly, we on the VO Essentials channel, of course, have made a purchase. I have made my order for the MetaQuest 3, which is supposed to arrive on October 11. But to be very honest with you, because they're releasing it on October 10, I think I'm going to be receiving it around October 20th or 25th, very possible. I'm not quite sure that I will be receiving it on October 11, but who knows? You never know. Perhaps Amazon already made the purchase and all these kind of different things. And uh, let's just go through the specs very easily with my good friend Chat GPT. Um, okay, where are they? There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let me just find the specs as I did ask it to give me. The specs in a bullet point, all the specs, every single spec. And, uh, you know, that is unimaginable. There we go. So it's a mixed reality device, of course, as we know, starting from 4.99. I personally purchased a 1 to 8 gigabytes, everybody, just to let you know. Snapdragon XR2, 8 gigabyte of RAM. Um, and then the 612, 512, excuse me, is 64999. Battery life apparently is two, is three hours and is 90 minutes. So depending on the app, you can uh, it could apparently last up to three hours, although I'm not quite sure about this. And then it's 2064 by 2208 uh, LCD display for each eye. Field of view, 110 degrees horizontal and 96 degrees vertical. Cameras, so we have two new full, co two new full color cameras on the front, approved pass-through video, average pass-through latency, 12 milliseconds, everybody. So that's pretty cool. And of course, we're going to have uh, 25 PPD for the actual resolution of the display and 15 PPD for the mixed reality. So let's see if the mixed reality is really going to be as good as what they're saying. And apparently it's going to be heavier. It's going to be 515 grams compared to 500 grams for the Quest 2 itself. And of course, two plus controllers without the tracking rings, everybody. So that's going to be very, very interesting to see as can't arrive does come free if you buy it on amazon not quite sure if it comes free if, everywhere do leave a comment below let me know but yeah i'm pretty excited to get back into the meta ecosystem now i'm purchasing it personally because of course the vr essentials youtube channel has suffered quite a lot over the last two three years because we were very you know blah, blah, blah. i don't want to say it as the views could go down um, but basically let's see how it goes if we get the meta quest free on the channel whether it's really going to help the channel to grow twofold because we should be at 30k by now or at least 25k subscribers but unfortunately due to my rants and due to me you know my 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 stance and my belief in uh certain things in the VR industry we're only we're not even at 14k yet and you know we've been we've been at 13k for about i don't know a year or something i, I don't know we've been growing very sl slowly because of this so let's see if the investment does pay off as it's pretty expensive for me it was almost a thousand singapore dollars which is very very expensive believe me it's like you paying a thousand us for something so very expensive for me as you can imagine but thanks to your love thanks to the support that we have on the channel you know thank you every view counts because we get advertising and also the affiliates we get kickbacks kickbacks so all that gets to pay for all this kind of stuff so 
thank you very much guys for all your support but yeah so let's keep talking about it you know i was very very excited about all the different things and today guys i really wanted to talk to you about this specific app which is freaking freaking amazing uh let me let me go to it very quickly i saw it on skiva's uh twitter and skiva if you if you're watching the video very very big hello to you my friend I know you at Connect, uh, Meta Connect and stuff with Alex. So big hello to the both of you. But Piano Vision, who had an app, I think, on App Lab uh, for AR a while ago, are releasing a really, really cool app uh, on the Meta Quest. And this is really the power of the Meta Quest 3, which I'm really, really excited about. I do have a piano here, not a very expensive one, but a very cool piano nonetheless, which belongs to my wife. So I will be putting this to the test. Let me just uh, make it, put it on mute as I cannot. There we go. Let, let me just put it on mute because I can't put the, unfortunately, the song on or will be flagged for copyright. But Piano Vision are coming out with a really, really cool app. I will definitely be reaching out to them to try and get this app where you can basically play the piano real. Like you'll put the, 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 the MetaQuest 3 on your ears. You have augmented reality. Well, in this case, mixed reality um, because you can actually, you know, it looks like you can use your hands. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's a hand tracking app. I'm not quite sure, although I haven't read all the details, but learn by using the notes or enable sheet music. And then you can read so you can read and then play or you can enable waiting notes. So basically the notes come down and then you can play as the notes come down. So that's really, really awesome. Song only progresses after hitting correct notes. So that's pretty fun. So there's a lot of different things here. You can upload your own MIDI files as well. So you can create your own libraries. And I guess it, I guess I would imagine that a lot of people in the community who join this specific uh, app could then upload, create community, create a database of all the various different songs in pian on piano that everyone can basically get to enjoy. So I'm really, really psyched about this really love this this is really the power of uh the meta quest 3 that goes beyond pico as far as i'm concerned or beyond any other vr headset that is currently at the moment available in the market so it will be on the meta quest store uh apparently because it's it's already on the quest i mean i think it's already available on the app lab if i'm not available there's another if i'm not uh, mistaken excuse me but there are other apps very similar to this if it is not exactly the same one by piano vision on the app lab if i'm not wrong or on side quest um you know i've been seeing this around where, where you can use your pass through and you can use your phone and mix re in augmented reality and then put it on your piano and then be able to from the phone follow the notes and all these kind of things so this looks really really amazing on a virtual keyboard um it looks really cool although Oh, okay, so this is a virtual keyboard. All right, I got it. But I'm pretty sure that you'll also be able to, yeah, because you can see the hands here playing on a real piano. So you'll be able to do both, play on a virtual keyboard or play on a real piano, it looks like. So that is gonna be really, really amazing, everybody. Really, really awesome stuff. I really can't wait for this. I must admit, this is something that really, really, honestly speaking, excites me a lot because that's what VR is about. It's about learning new stuff. It's not just about gaming, everybody, but of course, what games are you most excited about? Leave a comment below. I'm really looking forward to the Lego game. I'm really looking forward to Assassin's Creed. Oh man, Asgard Rife will be free with the, with, with the app, so I'll do plenty of reviews. Hit the notification bell after you subscribe. I'm so pump, 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 pump. Whew. Got plenty of energy, people. Plenty of energy as plenty of videos are coming to this channel. So hit the notification bell after you subscribe and hit the likes so more people can join the VR Essentials community and support our cause, everybody, as I will be reviewing, of course, the Pimax Crystal, the DPVR, and also the HP Reverb G2 there. And of course, any other headset that comes out, the Pico 4, which is at the office at the moment. Guys, I'm super psyched. I'm super pumped. Hit the notification bell. I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.